Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna do a quick one today. Um, I've had some people ask me before, uh, like what comics I'm currently reading. So I thought it'd be cool just to, it's a new comic book day, it's July 3rd. Um, so I thought I'd talk about what I picked up today. And uh, while I'm talking about those, I'm gonna bag and board uh, the issues. So, um, all right, so first off, the uh, the issue I was most excited about uh, today was uh, Scarlet issue two, the Energon universe continues with, uh, with Scarlet. And um, Scarlet is currently on a, uh, a mission to infiltrate the uh, Arasha Kagi. Arasha, is that what it is? I always, I, I, I always get that wrong. So, yeah, uh, yeah, Arasha Kagi. Um, the clan Arasha Kagi, which is where uh, uh, Storm Shadow is, is a part of. And, um, you know, you see her uh, kind of, they establish her just as a, a complete badass. <laughs> um so she's a lot of, lot of, lot of ninja action, and actually, uh, the thing I like about this cover for sure is it, it's giving off uh, Ninja Force Scarlet vibes with that like green and yellow, uh, you know, that like '90s Ninja Force um, team, which I I like. I like the Ninja Force stuff. So anyway, I like that the cover kind of gives off those vibes. But that's it's her in her, her normal um, uh, normal outfit, I I think. Um, the, uh, I like this. I like the, I like Scarlet so far. Um, you know, she's, she's infiltrating the clan. She's trying to hook up with, um, uh, Jinx, trying to like rescue or find out what's going on with Jinx. Cause Jinx is also, uh, uh, currently undercover with Arashikagi, the clan Arashikagi. So, um, yeah, Scarlet's looking for her, uh, while also not trying to like break her cover. Um, yeah, uh, so far, so far, so good. I, I enjoy it. Um, I feel like this is going to be a um, like a uh, a separate part of, of GI Joe. It feels like they did the uh, the Energon Universe special, and uh, it feels like the Scarlet stuff is going to be maybe tied in with um, maybe Flint and Lady J. It's just a guess. Uh, they might have like a a, a different kind of. Um, team dynamic or team team group going on because even in the promo shots for the new gi joe uh it's, it's mostly just the characters that we've seen so far in uh duke cobra commander and uh destro so we'll see uh, but yeah that was fun uh other issue i got was a uh, gunslinger spawn issue 33 um gunslinger spawn is one that i have enjoyed it less since uh, Brett Booth is no longer on the art duties. Um, Carlo Barberi is doing the art, and I, I like the art, um, but it just... So, I'll put it this way. Before, one of the criticisms for Gunslinger Spawn series, like, um, is that it, it was, a, like, a slow-going, uh, series. Like, not a lot would happen. There'd be a lot of action, but not, not a lot, necessarily progressing the plot forward but all of that action was brett booth art so it was something that i really enjoyed and looked forward to um a little less so now that uh booth is not on the title and like i feel like again like not a whole lot happens in this issue and um i mean there's some there's some action but it, it feels like a lot of the same. It's, you know, Gunslinger spawns on his mission to uh, avenge his sister by killing off some people that, that were associated with, uh, you know, responsible for her her uh, her death. Um, but it just... I, I'm just looking for more. If, if you're going to want me to, like, stay very invested and stay interested in the series, um, I... Uh, I One thing that uh, is is interesting is that they don't have powers anymore in this in the in the series because um after the events of spawn 350 they're all depowered so he's like always pulling his mask <laughs> over his head so it, it, it feels a little it just feels different like i, I liked that when it was like part of his it would just kind of like morph onto his, his his head when when he used those his powers um but i guess they come up with something because the powers are no longer there but uh anyway i i just i don't know the series is it's like a read, but it's not like, oh, this is fantastic, or this is like, you know, super, super engaging. Um, all right, then the last issue I picked up was a, a book that came out a few months ago, but I'm finally just uh, reading it now. Uh, jumping on the Redcoat, uh, number one, 
through the uh, the Ghost Machine, like, brand, publishing, whatever you want to call it, project. Um, and uh, th this one's really cool. I uh, I really enjoyed this. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big, like, kind of history buff. I enjoy historical-based stories. Um, so it's a, uh, a red coat who was, uh, a deserter who ends up getting like a, uh, getting the powers of an immortal and you don't really know why. Uh, but there's, you know, there's characters like, uh, Paul Revere shows up in here, Ben Franklin. Um, and I, I enjoy things like that, like a different take on, uh, historical events. So, um, yeah, this, this one, I, I will, I'll, I'll buy the other issues. I think I'm going to keep, keep reading this one. And then uh, the last thing I picked up was the Void Rivals uh, trade paperback. And Void Rivals, I've, you know, I've talked about Energon Universe stuff. Uh, I've talked about not having read uh, Void Rivals yet. But um, I just, I picked it up. I read the first issue so far. And um, it felt kind of straightforward. Like, you know, warring factions against each other. And then they, you know, they maybe were like, maybe we're not so different after all. Um, but the... The main the main draw uh, of this issue and why it exists is the uh, the cameo of, of Jetfire, which I mean maybe not the main reason it exists, but um, the reason why there was so much interest in this is because Jetfire showed up and and uh, I thought that was you know I, I, even though I knew it was coming it was it was, a, it was a fun moment they they discover him in his uh like his like jet mode and then he, he transforms as they're trying to like figure out what the ship is but um. Yeah, that, that's cool. I'm looking, forward to, I'm looking forward to reading the rest of it. Because um, I know that eventually it ties in more with uh, Transformers lore. So uh, I'm definitely willing to, you know, check this out too. So, yeah, there's the, uh, the look at my, my little haul for July 3rd, uh, 2024. So um, I might do more of these when, when time permits. Uh, you know, it was, it, was a, it was a lighter week. I mean, actually... Because it was a lighter week and I only had Scarlet and Gunslinger spawn, um, that's why I picked up Red Coat and uh, the Void Rivals trade, because it just gave me something else to read. So, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this one, and I will see you soon.